Hey guys, Austin Sway. I'm here to give you my three favorite bets of this weekend in college football. Some more fun interconference action. And that includes a team that doesn't actually have a conference. That's the BYU Cougars here heading to Oregon to face the Ducks at Austin Stadium. And I actually like Oregon to win here by 1 to 13 points. The good news about FanDuel Sportsbook, you can choose your own winning margin. As long as they don't win by more than two touchdowns, it'll be plus 155. And the Ducks would cash this bet here. I like that because coming off this massive win for BYU last week, they upset Baylor, maybe their biggest win in program history, or in a decade at least. They get that win. They're now number 12 in the AP poll, and now they're traveling to Oregon. That is a brutal assignment, especially considering they'll feel like easy mode for the Ducks after they had to face the defending national champs and got blown out by Georgia a couple of weeks ago. The BYU defense is good. It's not that good. And if you think you have a couple of dual threat quarterbacks here, Jaron Hall, Bo Nix, both teams should move the ball just fine. The biggest thing that I'm looking at is BYU's kicking game is already struggling. They've already missed a pair of kicks inside 40 yards. That could be all the difference in a close game. Don't know if it'll be one, three, seven or 10 points but I like the Ducks in a competitive game so I'll take this at plus 155 odds to cover all my bases there. I transition to another fun interconference one. We'll go down south and see Jordan Hare Stadium where the Auburn Tigers hosting the Penn State Nittany Lions. I like the under 48 and a half points here for a couple offenses that just quite aren't in sync yet. Uh, Sean Clifford for Penn State only completing 60.7% of his passes thus far. I say only because their two opponents are Purdue, not a great power five defense and Ohio. That's right, Ohio not Ohio State the Bobcats so not the strongest competition for Clifford and not the best completion percentage whereas you look at Auburn TJ Finley their quarterback has struggled with accuracy now for quite a while they prefer to run it with Tank Bigsby behind their big offensive line but Penn State has a front seven to match so both teams should be out of sync here especially Penn State on the road compared to if they were at home that hostile environment I like the under here where both offenses don't quite get on track I would still probably take Penn State to win a close game here, but the under 48 and a half points in a lower scoring contest between these two defenses that are both top 20 in ESPN's SP Plus rankings. From there, I'm going to stay in the SEC, this time battling an ACC team, Texas A&M hosting Miami. I like the Aggies minus five and a half points here at minus 110. Look, Texas A&M got upset last week doing what a lot of teams do to get upset. They played sloppy football, they missed a bunch of kicks, and it was a solid group of five opponent in App State. I still don't think their season's over. Long term, this is an offense filled with dynamic talent like running back Devin Shane, wide receiver Anaya Smith and I look at Haynes King the quarterback if he struggles again they have a solid lefty on the bench in Max Johnson veteran transfer from LSU if King doesn't get it going we could see Johnson as early as Saturday to help dispatch of the Hurricanes in Miami I just look at their roster it's very young sophomore quarterback Tyler Van Dyke freshmen and sophomores all across their offensive personnel this is really their first big game with this core group especially for Mario Cristobal the new coach at Miami they really haven't had any expectations. Here are the expectations as the higher ranked team heading to Kyle Field. I don't think they cash it in. I think the Aggies win by at least a touchdown here. ESPN's SP Plus rankings have them still as the ninth best team in the country. They got national championship whispers for a reason. I think they rebound with a big win at home.